Good morning, friends, and welcome to Sherry Khan Pre-Market Roundup. Let's have a check on global markets on, on priority. On Friday, we saw that global markets were more or less uh, flattish in Euro in uh, US when we closed. But later, it was seen that it started drifting down lower. The US markets like Dow and uh, Nasdaq and S&P closed on a firm note. But uh, later, after Facebook's listing, as Facebook started drifting lower from around 40 to 43 dollars uh, to around 38, 39 dollars, it was seen in the US markets also that markets uh, drifted lower and finally closed down around half a percent from uh, previous close. Now this is 12 sessions out of last 13 sessions that Dow has closed negative. This is happening only after 1974. Such side of situation was there that Dow closed 12 sessions down uh, from 13 sessions, and after around uh, 35 years, it is happening again. So some sort of worry over there because this is a sign of weakness on the europe uh, front president barack obama has uh, extended his support to the newly elected francis holland for his growth growth agenda while Angela merkel has uh, made some valid comments saying that they will support infrastructure growth uh, which will be the next thing to watch out for on domestic front uh, we had sbi results coming out however the expectations was, were there that sbi will uh, post good results but the expectation was somewhere close to 3500 crores uh, profit was expected but sbi surprised the street with uh, slightly higher numbers posting 4050 crore as net profit and uh, so was seen in the sbi stock price which moved all the way to 1950 levels which was around 4 to 5% higher from previous close nothing major on the other news uh, in domestic markets now let's have a check on derivatives with travel uh, hi Shaival, uh, good morning. Good morning. So, what do you make out of markets uh, on Friday? There was a smart recovery from on 4770 levels, uh, which was some 78.6% retracement level of the entire move. And from there, we almost uh, move up around 150 points on the higher side and finally managed to close at 1400. So, what's your take on markets? See, I know what has happened is there, there was no major news in the market in the Friday's trading session. I only think the point which has triggered some sort of buying or say short covering in the market in Friday session was maybe due to the good results of SBI. And we have seen pure and pure short covering in the Friday session. Also, the PCR ratio is standing firm at 0.9 when it has remained almost unchanged. So, it's almost uh, for last four sessions, uh, PCR has been around 0.9. That is below 0 0.95 and uh, above 0 0.8 and generally we have seen that this is the level where markets uh, tend to make bottom. So can we call it bottom uh, for as of now? See bottom fishing, uh, for bottom fishing from a longer period it would be very tough but yes for short term we can call it as a bottom because there are two to three supporting reasons for this. First of all the PCR ratio as you said is uh, we have seen in the market that whenever the PCR ratio is near 0 0.85 or 0 0.90 market tends to have a sharp recovery or say sharp bounce on the upper side from the lower levels as well the strike of 4700 and 4800 call and put option has seen a good activity in the open interest so this is where we we feel that market would find some support and 4750 according to us for past couple of trading session we've been continuously maintain saying it that 4750 on closing basis would be very important level to watch on so what we feel still is 4750 would remain a very key level to watch on and Unless we are holding these levels, we may see some sharp recovery on the higher sides. Uh, anything on the stocks front? Yeah, before, uh, see, on the stocks front, uh, we have identified three stocks from the derivative perspective. First is Apollo Tire. We think it would uh, trade with positive bias on intraday basis with support of 83.35. Next is IDFC where we feel the support for the stock would be 116.35 and Sterlite Industry where support would be 99.20 from the intraday perspective. Uh, Shaival, one more thing to uh, you know, just ask you that uh, as per data, Nifty Options equilibrium now stands at 5020 for on monthly basis whereas Nifty's average price, average traded price for last uh, 16, 17 sessions that is since expiry is somewhere close to 5015. So, can you make anything out of that? See, uh, the weekly VWAP is currently standing at 5000. So, as we are trading below this, the bias for the market from our side still remains negative. But what we feel is that, as we have been mentioning that 4750 on closing basis would act as a good support for the market. So, what we feel is that market may consolidate in this broad range of 4750 and 5000 unless there is some big news which comes into the market and which would give a market a either direct, a break out on the either direction.
thank you shaival on derivatives uh, so we we heard shaival saying that four seven five zero might be a short term uh, bottom the reason behind is uh, as we have been uh, mentioning that pci is somewhere close to 0.8 to 0.95 range and generally we see our markets recovering very sharply from those levels also the weekly vwap is uh, now standing at 5000 levels and uh, nifty options equilibrium is at 5020 around approximately so one can assume that from here we might see another sharp bounce of 100 points on nifty and uh, one can look to take a short position or uh, reduce their long positions at around 5000 4980 to 5000 levels and uh, wait and watch wait for markets uh, to give us a directional move from there on nothing much on, on uh, domestic uh, news front so we uh, conclude the session with this. Thanks and bye. Have a nice trading session.